The years following 1520 were dark and filled with danger for Martin Luther. Despite serving for several years as an Augustinian priest, he had become an adversary of the Catholic Church. After publicizing his objections to the practice of selling indulgences, eventually Luther was excommunicated for his position and his public declarations and criticism placed him at the center of controversy. Threatened with arrest and extradition to Rome for trial, Luther was placed in protective custody by a sympathetic German official. The ex-priest was locked in a castle near Eisenach, Germany, for several years. Never one to waste time, Luther used this forced isolation for a project he had been wanting to accomplish and began his translation of the Bible from Greek into German. He felt strongly that the people ought to be able to read the Holy Scriptures in their own language and also to speak directly to God through hymns in their narrative and in their native tongue. To this end, he composed a hymn book for use by German congregations. With the translation of the New Testament into German in 1522, the publication of a hymn book in 1524, and the completion of the Old Testament translation in 1534, Luther provided the foundation for the Protestant Reformation in Germany. In his honor, German Protestants became known as Lutherans. If there was a theme song of the Reformation, it would have to be Luther's powerful hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, based on the first verse of Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength. This hymn became the rallying cry for peasants and dissents, dissidents across Europe. Its inspiring verses were on the lips of Protestant emigres on their way to exile. Armies as they went into battle, and even Protestant martyrs as they went to their deaths. It has been translated into almost every known language and is today the national hymn of Germany. Martin Luther knew the power of con congregational singing and saw it as a powerful tool for bringing men and women, cl women closer to God. He wrote, If any man despises music, as all fanatics do, for him I have no liking, for music is a gift and grace of God, not an invention of men. Thus it drives out the devil and makes people cheerful. Then one forgets all wrath, impurity, and other devices. After being cast out of the Catholic Church, Luther married a former nun, Catherine von Borov, in 1525. Together they continued to work tirelessly for the cause of the Reformation. When he died in 1546 in his hometown of Eislinben, Germany, Luther had, through his theological writings, his Bible translations, and through his hymns, laid the foundations of a movement that would forever change the religious history of the world. In recognition of this, A Mighty Fortress is Our God was sung at his funeral, and the first line of the hymn is inscribed on his tomb in Eislinben. A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing. Our helper, he amid the flood of mortal ills prevailing. For still our ancient foe doth seek to work us woe. His craft and power are great, and armed with cruel hate. On earth is not his equal. Did we in our own strength confide, our striving would be losing. Were not the right man on our side, the man of God's own choosing. 
Dost ask who that may be? Christ Jesus, it is he. Lord Sabbath, his name. From age to age the same. And he must win the battle. And though this world with devils filled Should threaten to undo us, We will not fear, for God hath willed His truth to triumph through us. The Prince of Darkness grim, we tremble not for him. His rage we can endure, for lo, his doom is sure. One little word shall fail him. That word above all earthly powers, no thanks to them abideth. The Spirit and the gifts are ours through him who with us sideth. Let goods and kindreds go. This mortal life also, the body they may kill, God's truth abideth still. His kingdom is forever. Amen.